One issue that we have to talk about when setting up a communication strategy in development cooperation in a bit more detail is what I call homebound communication. I touched on it already. Now I want to explain in a bit more detail. What I refer to is a common issue in development cooperation, and that is the aiming of project communication tools at people in the developed world and not in the developing world where the projects are, as you might have assumed. It is usually what clients, the ministries and donor countries expect to be done. As common as it is, this practice has actually always been controversial, especially since many projects communications is practically completely focused on the interested publics at home or at a certain scene of international experts. You can guess easily, this is a political issue that we cannot dig into during this course. Let me just say so much. My own non-representative research has substantiated that this targeting is a common point of contention between so-called local staff and personnel sent from the countries that finance projects, so-called international staff, especially communications people. To clarify again, what I mean by that is that projects frequently don't aim their communication efforts at people in the countries of operation. Instead, their tools are set up to show positive results to audience in the donor countries. In other words, we look at classic, we do good and talk about it public relations. And it aims at target groups at home, so to speak, or internationally operating experts, scientists, or whoever, but not at anyone in particular in developing countries usually. In short, many projects run communications about development and not communications for development. And this is a deliberate default setting for communications of developing projects. Sure, there are exceptions, like when projects have a component that aims at behavior change or raising community participation, but usually there's a lot of aim at taxpayers at home. What I'm saying is not necessarily true for your project and you, or your organization. All I'm saying is that for junior communication officers, especially those originating from developing countries, homebound communications only can be a pretty hard pill to swallow. I mention it so that you are somewhat ready when you're confronted with this reality for your first communication strategy or when you enter ongoing implementation. Another issue that has a similar difficulty with target groups in a way is knowledge exchange. Knowledge exchange endeavors are often aimed at other projects, especially within the same organization and they cover a lot of operational processes of projects. So lessons learned are often not what a beginner might expect. For example, providing hands-on know-how to farmers in Africa. Now, I don't want to give the impression that this kind of content and targeting was necessarily useless. Advisors in development need to exchange on what they've learned to become better and more effective. And this certainly needs to include experiences around how they operate and approach their work. I just don't want those of you who have prior or have no prior experience in development organizations yet to have the wrong expectations. You can find yourself in a project which views knowledge exchange as something to take place within the organization. But there are obviously also projects that aim at knowledge transfer to, let's say, farmers in developing countries. Now, how do you deal with internal exchange as a purpose or with homebound communication? I suggest you cover this goal as discussed before. It might not be what you expected, but it's straightforward in terms of applying what I said initially. You identify who to reach in the target countries or within your organization, the best channels and best tools that your target groups are using and prep your messages 
which are essentially connected to details on how well the project is running. In terms of knowledge exchange, you don't have to be so careful with adding some downsides or mistakes when the exchange is primarily geared towards internal audiences. Actually, things gone wrong are most useful for learning. As we all know, just make sure that you focus on the lessons and it's better when it's not external communications. Then also have a look at whether the project documentation indicates something about goals to reach within the country of operation that might allow for you to derive a communications objective from it. Nothing spelled out, you consider it. So you must expect some resistance on following through with this because homebound PR goals are probably spelled out and your newly derived comms goal is only interpreted from other objectives. And they are unknown to the project leads, whereas the classic homebound goals are comfortable because they are relatively straightforward, not too ambitious and well, sure they're spelled out. So meaning the project can concentrate on what they believe is the core of their work in agriculture, for example. No matter what is officially set up, proclaimed for projects, communications in general, is secondary to the core activity of the project. It is a means to other goals and project leads and clients are usually never experienced communicators by profession. If you feel like getting into a deeper discussion on how the interaction between donor countries and recipient countries should be, I suggest that you read up on the Paris Declaration of Aid Effectiveness from 19, uh, 2015 on the internet. It, it doesn't cover development communications as such, but it, it has all to do with it. And it should give you enough sort of ammunition to put up a good talking fight for more communications for development. But don't expect to win on this one, okay? At least not immediately. Development works in incremental steps, part of the frustration, and you will be part to advance on it. In this case, via professional project communications. The hard stuff is the soft stuff. What I mean is that the actual challenge is your soft skills when negotiating the strategy in terms of these two types of goals that are basically set up on opposite sides of the playing field, simply because often your colleagues will just not like it if you frame certain goals of the project as strictly homebound PR with no impact in the developing world. Working on communications can turn stones that might actually be better left unturned. Most colleagues, especially those who come from local communities and the implementation countries, have the idea that they are in development because they want to help people and communications should be no exception. They understand that homebound PR helps the process by informing taxpayers and donor countries on what is achieved, but that doesn't mean for them that communication has to be completely restricted to that direction. It could very well be aimed at communication targets in the project countries, at politicians, media, and so forth. So the point is to try and acknowledge all this, the soft part, but be hard on the separation of the goals because they are on opposite sides of the playing field and your action will aim in different directions. For proper strategy implementation, you need to acknowledge that. It doesn't help to try to save face on this and don't say it. Say it as it is. 